Eddie Mecca, the actor best known for his role as Carmine Ragusa on the hit ABC sitcom Laverne and Shirley, has sadly just passed away. His brother Warren confirmed this tragic news on Thursday, December 2, 2021. According to Warren, Eddie, who was endearingly nicknamed the Big Ragu on the series, passed away a few days prior on November 27. He was 69. The late actor's brother was unable to share a cause of death at this time, but did confirm Eddie passed away alone at his house in Newhall, California. He was found by police when apparently conducting a wellness check. He also mentioned Eddie had to be hospitalized about six months ago when he was diagnosed with a blood clot, but it's unclear if that played a part in his death. Pat Benty, one of Eddie's dear friends, shared the news of his death on his Facebook page on Wednesday evening. Pat also was unable to share further details about his fellow Berkeley College of Music alum's death, but did add he passed on peacefully. In honor of Eddie Mecca's memory, join Facts First as we take a look at his life story while talking about some of the highlights of his decades-spanning career in the entertainment industry. Eddie Mecca's Early Life Mecca was born Rudolph Edward Mechgian on June 14, 1952, in Worcester, Mass. He was the son of Armenian father Von Mechgian and Italian mother Miriam. His father was a veteran of the Second World War, and his mother was a presser someone who operates machinery that removes wrinkles from clothing. After graduating from Burncoat High School, Mecca enrolled at the prestigious Berklee College of Music in Boston, where he studied music and theater. In the early 70s, Mecca led the Worcester County Light Opera, where he taught young people the ropes of singing. After he performed on Broadway in a production of rock opera The Lieutenant, which scored him a Tony Award nomination, he relocated to L.A. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First and stick around for a lot more about Eddie Mecca. Eddie Mecca's career in show business. Once he found his way to LA, Eddie made his big break on television when he was cast in the role of Carmine, the big ragu, Ragusa, on Laverne and Shirley in 1976. Mecca stuck with the series for its entire eight season run from 1976 to 83. The show was a huge hit and became the most watched TV program in America by its third season. Ultimately, it received six Golden Globe nominations and one Emmy nod. Laverne and Shirley was a spin off of Happy Days and followed the lives of Laverne DeFazio, played by Penny Marshall, and Shirley Feeney, played by Cindy Williams, two close friends and roommates who worked at the fictional Schatz Brewery in Milwaukee, Wisconsin in the 50s. Mecca's character, Carmine Ragusa, was Shirley's old high school flame, an on again, off again romantic interest. Ragusa, or the Big Ragu, as he was nicknamed, was a part time boxer and former Golden Gloves amateur boxing champion fighter who owned a dance studio and was constantly trying to make it big as a singer and dancer. He finally achieved his dreams at the end of the series when he auditioned for a major role in a Broadway production of the musical Hair and landed the part. Aside from his time on Laverne and Shirley, Mecca appeared in close to 50 television shows and films throughout his career. Some of his television credits included turns on series like It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, ER, The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, and The Bold and the Beautiful. He notably played Detective Murdoch in the 2002 Steven Spielberg-produced film Catch Me If You Can. He also had a minor role in the 1992 film A League of Their Own, directed by Penny Marshall. He played the dance partner of the character May, who was played by Madonna. A lifelong lover of theater, Mecca performed in the musical Hairspray at the Luxor Casino in Las Vegas and went on a national tour of Greece alongside his other Laverne and Shirley co-star Jane Williams. Mecca later returned to Off-Broadway again in 2008 when he starred in Steve Solomon's acclaimed long-running comedy My Mother's Italian, My Father's Jewish, and I'm in Therapy at the West Side Theater in Hell's Kitchen. Also in 2008, he reunited with Cindy Williams once again for a production of Rennie Taylor and Joseph Bologna's comedy play It Had to Be You. That same year, he also appeared in the independent film Code Enforcer alongside Happy Days' Aaron Moran. From April 29th to June 20th, 2010, Mecca played Tevia in a production of the musical Fiddler on the Roof at the John Engerman Theater in Northport, New York. In 83, Mecca got married to actress Delee Lively. The couple was married for nine years before divorcing in 1992. Two years later, he married Yvonne Marie Grace. He and Grace ended up having one daughter together, Mia. Some of Mecca's last movie credits were in independent films like 2017's Silver Twins and 2018's Hail Mary. His last television credit was a 2012 episode of Children's Hospital playing a one-off character, Frankie. Eddie Mecca's legacy will live on. 
Mecca is survived by his daughter Mia and his three siblings. He had two brothers, Warren and Wayne, and a sister Lenore. But aside from his blood family, Mecca is also survived by his Laverne and Shirley television family. After learning about his death, Cindy Williams tweeted about the late actor, calling him a world-class talent who could do it all. She included a video highlighting some of Mecca's most memorable moments from Laverne and Shirley. Many of these showcased his singing and dancing skills. Another Laverne and Shirley co-star, Michael McKeon, who played Lenny Kosnowski, also tweeted a heartfelt goodbye to his old friend, referring to him as the purveyor of cheer whenever things got cheerless. If you're interested in watching Laverne and Shirley, the entire series, as well as Happy Days, is available for streaming free on Pluto TV. We can't think of a better way to pay your respects to Mecca than by watching the show that helped put him on the map. And afterwards, be sure to check out some of his other, lesser-known works. For example, he appeared in the 2009 Christian drama film See Me Dance, which was endorsed by the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, as well as the Dove Foundation. And he also played a club manager in the 2006 Academy Award-winning film Dream Girls, which was adapted from a 1981 Broadway musical. Now it's time to hear from you. What are some of your favorite memories of Eddie Mecca? Let us know in the comment section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.